nobody can do this for you. You got to do the work yourself. Like, it ain't going to change nothing. You're going to get on that stage tonight, wake up tomorrow, and be like, it's the same routine. You got to get back in the gym. So when I hear all these talk, Nashville, y'all ain't never going to be nothing. You say you're from Nashville, the first thing they say is, you know, Buck, Lido. Yeah. But then it's like, all right, they mess with y'all, and then it's hard to say, like, yeah, Nate, which we know yeah. they f with us. Well, they, like, they mess with y'all, but why ain't, we ain't got music together. I just feel like it goes back to the support um, of your city or the people okay. around you. Like, that's that plays a big part, and a lot of the time, just off the strength of being a female, you get overlooked because you're not doing certain things. If you're alive, subscribe. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's sunny in Nashville. Um, I feel good. I hope you feel good. It's a live crowd out there. This is what I want to I want to start off to let you know. It's a live crowd. So, look, on the count of three, I want the crowd to just say something just to let everybody know somebody's out there. So, whatever you want to say, hell no. Nah, anything you want to say, I want you to say it on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> the crowd is out there. Uh, shout out to Jeff O the Hitmaker. Shout out to Church. It's a lot of people here. Rob Savage is in. Guess what? When you know you got Rob Savage in the building, another podcaster that's, um, I be, I've been trying to tell people for the longest, uh, it's Nashville against everybody. Uh, it ain't no competition when it comes to Nashville, like we're not in competition with each other. We haven't made it nowhere to say, hey, we in competition with each other. And so it's Nashville against everybody. But today, man, um, my little brother's here and we finna have a, it's finna be a good conversation. And I got, I got grown kid in the building and I got a little trip in the building, but, uh, Two live Bree, what's going on, homie? Man, How you doing? What's going on? I'm, I'm hype up in here. You already know we we got a live audience, the energy different, but I'm with my brother, so you know the energy already up there. So I'm excited to be here, man. The the energy is is really really different today. It's really on a real good vibe. But um, uh, you turned down a Rick Ross show, and I've been trying to tell artists for the longest one show ain't gonna make you. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just want to kind of go into like. Why did you turn that down? And you don't have to tell me the full story about it, but um, why did you turn that down when any other artist would have never did it? Mm, that's a good question. For me, it was just not an alignment for me as an artist. You know, um, at first I, I wanted to do it for the culture. You know, I was in my my front brain when I first started my career. I was always hungry for, like, opening up for people uh -huh. and things like that. And I done performed for, like, the baby, the little baby, Most future, all these people. Then I realized it really never did anything for me. And where I'm at in my career, you know, I've been selling out shows, going everywhere else, and seeing the benefit of it and seeing the human connection, I'm like, these people didn't want to pay me my value just being straight up. And um, I was going to help the show and elevate the show and what, what type of performance that I was trying to bring and. Um, no disrespect to the promoters. I just feel like um, it just wasn't handled right. And uh, a lot of other things, too, as well. Just I want to stand on integrity and stand on a lot of artists need to know, like, nobody can do this for you. You got to do the work yourself. Like, it ain't going to change nothing. You're going to get on that stage tonight and wake up tomorrow and be like, it's the same routine. You got to get back in the gym. So I want to just own my power and trust in my fans and also believe that this year, Nas, we're gonna sell out my show, and I'll be able to support my career. But for <laughs> for for me, for me, just you know, y'all uh y'all understand that that P Ricky's world up. Uh, I have done like so much for the rap community, and I have have held down. But it was it was insulting to me mm. because um you know we all was like oh we we Rick Ross and a lot of people planned on going, and so yeah. uh I'm I'm even talking to the Nashville community like we have to do more coming together like. And I said, and not got nothing to do with you, Bree, or nobody else, but when Bree said he wasn't performing, like, I bagged out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And not on, no, not on no cap stuff, but I just felt like, like, you know, we was really, you know, hype about, you know what I'm saying, you yeah. performing. But my question is this, like, um, what makes you so passionate on keeping the Nashville legacy going? Man, definitely. I, I just understand. Like, I look up to Nipsey Hussle. Everyone know that. And Most definitely. I just... You know, for me as an artist, like, I know you can't do nothing without doing something for your family and your people. I want my son, 
your kids, your our family to look up one day and to be like, hey, we can do something with creative arts, period. Well, so like for where I started at 13 years old, you know, with Lil Trip. Oh, <laughs> Shout out to Lil Trip. Uh, He'll be in a minute. It's, yeah, it's, it's, like and still being relevant at 27. Matter of fact, look, it's Trip, crazy. Let's roll. Let, 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 we ain't even. <laughs> even yeah. let's, let, let, let roll with it. You yeah. know what I mean? We ain't even. We ain't even got to do this. Oh, you know bro. what I'm saying? Without that. Shout out to Trip. You know what I'm saying? Let 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 roll with it. We ain't even finna even even shortchange it. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. And and but you go back what you were saying. I mean, like so many people, I was surrounding myself around a lot of OGs and a lot of new Gs. You know, kids in juvenile, I'm getting them out of juvenile, putting them in studio programs. It's bigger than the fame for me, you know, and I, I can't allow myself to Search for validation when the validation is in the seeds you put in your community, and nah, I just that's just how I stand on it. Like from the pistols, the cool daddy freshes, the city papers. I don't want to miss out anybody, but them people that may have not got their flowers, but they put a lot of work in for us to keep it going. And there's somebody after me that's gonna keep it going. And I'm just standing on integrity. That's it. Period. But but, but for Bree and uh, I got your trip too. But for Bree, like uh, with the push you got, you know what I'm saying in the you putting on for the city, like, what's the what's what's the hard part about that to you? You know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. with what you're trying to do, because I understand that you are actually for the culture, and everybody ain't. No matter what you say, everybody ain't for the culture. Like some everybody for self. And I'm gonna go on record with say this: you old niggas that's been rapping for forever. You niggas need to start promoting the young, the, the yeah. people that's up and coming. Like and not trying to. I ain't telling y'all to quit rapping. I ain't telling y'all none of that. But you got a lot of up and coming, and y'all ain't supporting them like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, what makes you? And I want to come to you too, Trip. After this, but Bree, what makes you so still caught up on you want to represent Nashville when these guys ain't even showing up to your show. <laughs> That's crazy. And I ain't even, I'm just being yeah. honest. I'm going to be honest. I don't really ever think about Nashville anymore. Okay. Like I heard something Pistol said, uh, I got to represent our young people that he was trying to call us out about a lot of things. And honestly, the first thing I said, why am I listening to Pistol? If he's saying, why, don't listen to the OG. He said, don't listen to us. We ain't do it right. Okay. But somebody sent it to me. I'll listen to it. I was like, well, I'm not listening to anybody. And um, But the thing is, we are doing the right things, our it's young definitely. folks. Like, we have been, I want to give us credit more. Yeah. I don't want to keep saying Nashville, we bad and we ain't this. Like, we yeah. have done a lot of things. We us younger artists, we are getting sync in television placements. Y'all talking about money, y'all sold records. Yeah. We got our records on television and film okay. getting ten to fifteen thousand dollars check. Right. We are learning the education differently. We are doing things. I just feel like we gotta give our credit more, like us younger artists, and stop thinking about what was before. It's like we are we are doing the work, but we need we do need the OGs to get with us and um just show that support us. Just saying, hey dog, I see y'all and Squash y'all beef. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah, got yeah. no beef. Yeah, 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 <laughs> we yeah. don't got no beef. So it's like a little, it's a little different. It's a little different for me. So when I hear all these talk, Nashville, y'all ain't never gonna be nothing. I'm like, yeah. but do y'all not see us? We on the we, road. We, 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 we yeah. touching the celebrities. We we need y'all to invest in us. So that's all we ask. Just the people too. And I'm not trying to make it a Nashville thing because I know a lot of people. Like I'm on the road and it's everywhere around the world is going through this. We just solving the problem. On this podcast, we had so many people for history, and I want to, uh, I want to highlight a uh, trip. Like, you got songs with Vizo and I swear Vizo and stuff like that, and you understand that you guys actually got a real grind out here. So, how are you feeling about the OGs? Not actually, like, you niggas ain't posting these guys' stuff. You niggas ain't supporting them like that. Like, a lot of you was invited here and you didn't come, and you know I'm going to call you and say somebody, but for you, Trip, like, what's your feeling on with people actually putting y'all on that platform when you know you deserve it? Man, really just go back to what he said, shit, we do it. Yeah. Like, we do it. You know what I'm saying? And it took time. Like, yeah, sometimes we get in that mode. We like, damn, like, bro, them don't support. Or yeah. certain certain people don't support. Because, like, him, we going out of town early, young. So, yeah. the first thing they say when you say you from Nashville, people don't just move like that, young, yeah. moving around, around all this stuff when you're young. So, 
you say you're from Nashville, the first thing they say is, you know, Buck, Lido. Yeah. But then it's like, all right, well, they mess with y'all, and then it's hard to say, like, yeah, Nate, which we know yeah. they f with us. Well, but they, it's like, well, they mess with y'all, but why ain't, we ain't got music together? Like, you why, know what I'm saying? why, why like, they why? ain't Because saying... you can go to Atlanta right now, and they young artists even now. Like, when I was coming up, there's people I know now that's popping out, but they popping because the older artists that was in the game early. I'm happy on this they podcast. Was with trip. Love, this you know yeah. real like, They were showing them love. They own records. Wasn't no yeah. charging. Wasn't I, no backdoor. Wasn't no not showing them the game. Niggas was showing each other the game. Let's be honest, though. I'm going to be honest. Let's facts. be honest because this is the perfect time to be honest. Most definitely. This new Nashville culture has been started when we first did the Municipal Auditorium with okay. Mind's Behavior. That's when we started working with 615 Exclusive, okay. Lotus. Uh, give me some more now. Shout out to all them nobody. guys. You know what I'm saying? Cali. You know, uh, Cali Campaign. We had a whole group of young artists, and we came together. <laughs> and none of the OGs really was embracing us. We didn't Thanks. care. We wasn't asking them to. But, like, honestly, we are still here, and we still all ties to each other. Even, like, you see the Avriana, the personalities. Okay. You're seeing, yeah. uh, man, I'm I can go on Sweet Poisons. I'm not seeing you niggas support them like the that. The Blazers. Like, we all, we, all are, we all in the same mix. We just need, you know, we got to own it. We need people to change their language about the independent scene and just take integrity and saying, like, we here. Like, we finally here. Like, stop making this an imagination and believe it. You know what yeah. I mean? Cool. Not to cut y'all off, too, because okay. it'd be like, it really be like this. It's a lot of artists, right, everywhere. Yeah. But yeah. you know it's levels to this shit. You Most know what definitely. I'm saying? So just give us our flowers. Like, you know, like, respect that. Like, because if y'all fuck with us, they going to, you know what I'm saying, they going to show us more love, too. I don't they got to say so, too, at the end of the day. I don't want to give you your flowers yet because I understand that you guys got a, uh, matter of fact, happy birthday, Bri. It's Bri's birthday. We said about that. But you guys got a, a long road to go, and I don't want to give your flowers yet, but I'm trying to figure out, like, um, I'm supporting the guys who's coming up in rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even I ain't even supporting the older generation no more. I done gave them their flowers. Even when I'm talking about the the top five and stuff, like, they, they know me. Yeah. Like, I've done more for this rap community than – any rapper, really, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to throwing shows and stuff. But and and even when I'm talking about top fives and stuff, I'm not putting you guys in it yet because y'all job ain't done. That's so right. I'm I'm talking about the city papers and the uh Starlitos and the Bucks and the Quanties and all that. Funny. But now it's you guys time. So like what do we need to do to make sure you guys are getting the stardom that you guys really deserve you know what i'm saying like just we support. need to understand yeah it's just support yeah it's just support you know support because like, you, you see the people supporting you know yeah. when you see people supporting you should support what people support i don't care i don't want you to be a fan of my music i don't care if you like my music or yeah. not just like me i do the same thing i, I listen to things and be like i just support it because i see the heart and the artist and the, like i the crazy thing is we are leaders I, i'm speaking on everybody in this room yeah. we're leaders i I done met multiple artists. I have mentored from here that's younger than me, and I'm young. Yeah, yeah. And I done seen them grow. And it's like, man, I I, I just try to be the leader that I wanted. You feel yeah. me? And I just mm -hmm. feel like, not just for myself, and I'm not talking about the old people, even the new leaders that's coming, just embrace them. Come in, let's eat at a table. We've been talking on the couch behind the scenes, like, do we need to do dinners? Do we need new yeah. monthly dinners? And yeah. just, you know, it ain't no panel. Now yeah. we all sitting Thanks. at the same table yeah. because we need to really hash this out as far as, like, so we can educate each other. Knowledge is power. And I feel like we... We, we get so caught up in the ego and living in ego. We just really just need to be like, hey, bro, like, this is what I'm doing. Check it out. But like, I'm saying even with the um, even with the oldest artists and, like, what type of conversations? Are you guys having any conversations with them? Because uh, I know for me and any, all of them will tell you, like, I've all, I always say, like, man, y'all need to start doing this, doing that. Yeah. I mean, you got to go get a feature from Icewell Viso. Like, we got the Bucks and we got the All-Stars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why come we can't get a feature from them and put us on another level? I got to notice you from Icewell Viso. That wasn't, you know, it's cool, but, you know what I'm saying? And so are we having conversation with the older artists or it's no conversation or what? I mean, just ask. No, I mean, when we see them out, well, for me personally, when I see them out, it's love. But yeah, that's yeah. just like, it'd be like wrong time. It'd be like in the club space. And so it ain't even no time to really talk about no music. It's just like, you know, I see what you're doing. Yeah, facts. Keep it moving. You know, yeah. it'd be shit like that. But as far as like outside of it, it ain't never really been no conversation. Yeah. Way. For me, I don't, I call and reach out to every single one of them. Okay. Just like I reach out to all my young people. So, you know, it's all love, you know, uh, I just feel like I sometimes feel like the older generation may feel like 
they didn't get the support that they deserve. Okay. So they may be holding that against, not going to say against us purposely, but nah, I feel not, like, not, I get, I get yeah, but saying. I think yeah. like they got this thing where they don't even know they worth. And that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we viewed them so crazy. And they don't understand like we Thanks. artists, we, we support y'all because we y'all inspired us. Thanks. We trying yeah. to embrace you. We yeah. ain't trying to tear you down. You know what I mean? I feel like they so caught up into, you know, maybe they didn't support me. They didn't pay me enough for this, this, this. But you could be a part of change. That's why I stepped down to Rick Ross show because right. I seen what y'all were not getting paid. But how did you turn down that payment though? Even even yeah. with um you being who you are, and I always try to tell people like Bree shows they sell out. You know what I'm saying he don't have to worry about that. But how do you turn that down knowing that you can get an extra crowd from that? You know what I'm saying? And I just is it integrity or what? You know what I'm saying? Biggest part is integrity. I mean, it's the conversation like this, like me yeah. sitting on this couch and trying to talk for a culture and not living what I'm saying is crazy. Yeah. My whole team checked me at the door on a Tuesday meeting. It's just like, if this is what you about, if this the what you going to do and what you representing, this is not an alignment for you. And they all, even Sari from Mexico, she don't even know what's going in the culture. And as like these people around the world and they advocating for us, mm-hmm. but they like integrity is everything. And just, I love Rick Ross. I'm a Rick Ross fan. A, me, me too. You we know, are but, fans. but it's like, does that really help us? Or because at the end of the day, people are supporting Rick Ross. Yeah. And if you're not gonna give me the opportunity to be the artist that my fans pay and support me to, you know, see when they see me at my shows, why am I going? They're coming up there. They done pay sixty dollars to see me, and I'm only making a dollar from it. And on top of that, they only gonna see half of what they see from my show, yeah. and they gonna be like. Oh, that's not the same Brie that we got here. And yeah. I'm giving a quality experience. If you haven't seen my show yet, like I, I got LED screens, yeah, I got I'm all the, band and facts, all this. Facts. And it's like I really want to have ownership in that. And yeah. I feel like a lot of artists just need to have ownership in that creative and believe in that creative. And that's what I that's why I did it. But 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 for you, Trip, um, and I wanna I wanna kinda go back to that in in a sense of like, how does it feel that I have to notice you? Through icewear visa, uh, for you know me, what I'm saying. Instead really, of noticing, for me, it you don't through, really matter because I've been. I feel like I've been like that since my start of my career. I okay. never really did too much gimmicky stuff. It always been true, just like that. You know, how what did saying? that happen like, though? How did you get like that? That's a big feature. Like, how uh, did that happen? I was really going to Detroit to get some ice. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> got a link yeah, ice yeah. with that. So, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah, and then I, now one of my cameramans though, he's from Detroit, so mm-hmm. that's his cameraman too, and he just linked the play together and we made that happen. Mm-hmm. I want I want to ask you guys um with with you guys like all y'all do is like work like I only thing I see y'all do is work and I want to ask both of you guys like what do you do actually for fun Bree like just when when Bree is want to just get a get a yeah. peace of mind you know I, I I yeah I saw you uh <laughs> in the mountains the other yeah. day. that's the first time I've ever yeah. saw yeah. you do anything yeah. outside of rap so yeah. what do you do just to <laughs> You know what I'm crazy. saying? Where, where do you get a peace of mind from? That's the truth, though. I'm like a mountain person, hiking person, nature person, animal person. Like, that's my thing. And I try to mute off the world. I turn over my best friend, you know. Yeah. Uh, we just, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. And just even, um, I'm a, you know, I haven't really talked about this yet, you know, and I just feel like it's time to talk about it. Like, mean? um, me, I'm very, uh, I have learned this year that I'm autistic as well. Yeah. So, like I don't function in groups. You feel me? Like yeah. I don't. I I was always searching for belonging. Yeah. And my like learning and being an adult, like it, it's hard to function in this space as a creative because you okay. always not gonna feel belong. Yeah. So I, my functioning, how I do things is always by myself. Like yeah. I have to be around nature. I had to be around weird stuff to recharge to be back into these cameras. I don't really. I never enjoyed the fame as much as people think I do. I just really just enjoy the craft and I. But then when but I how, realized, why how how do you not enjoy the fame when everybody's saying, "Hey, Bree and Bree," and I don't Bri. like the pressure of. I don't even be pressure like to show up. It's be, I just don't like. I don't like the eyes sometimes. Like not saying yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to explain yeah, it, yeah. but like I just can feel things, and it's a gift and a curse. I feel like people that's autistic they got the gift of um, intuition, and it's been working in my favor, but. Early on in my career, it ruined a lot of relationships. Which people were like, "Oh, he weird. He don't like me." And no, nah, I just I got to be dealt with differently, you know. Yeah, so right. it's just like, yeah, I just don't like people sometimes, and that's all right. Yeah. But I love people. <laughs> and, then, and then for trip, I just want to ask you, like, um, your I um, your mom is here, and your family is here, and so what does support mean for you, like? 
does does what motivates you to keep going? Cause the artist is ain't gonna do it, and you always gonna have you ain't always gonna have a lot of fans, you know, what I mean, support you. So what makes you keep like I'm gonna do this? What you just said, my family, like. Before it was the fans, before it was the rap homies, before it was producers sending beats, before it was podcasting. Yeah. It yeah. was the family that yeah. was supporting it. Like, before I even had music out, I really was just on Facebook and, like, MySpace early, and I was just promoting myself. Yeah. I was acting like I had the music, you know what I'm saying? But I always seen the vision, but they was always the ones telling me, you know what I'm saying? Like, even now I got all my, you know, I got five with me, riding with me, okay. flying with me yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah, Family mean a lot to me, though, for sure. Yeah. And, uh, mm-hmm. and but, uh, why did you start even? What made you, like, because we always get that question, like, you know, when we in school, like, what you going to be? You going to be a fireman? You going to be a police? You going to be, like, the Man, rapper was never in. Right now, you know what I'm saying? My sister's oh, no. in the building right now. She can bounce. My older sister, we used to watch 106 Apart. Yeah. Yes. Wild Out Wednesdays, Freestyle Fridays. And yeah. me and her used to Freestyle Friday together. She don't even rap. We used to put our names she? in the Wait, box. Who, who is it? She What's right her name? There. Jazz, so we used to put our names in the box, yeah. you feel me? Yeah, and shit, and we act like we was freestyle Friday and shit. And then Bow Wow came on one day. Yeah, we just watching. That's same school, for me. We would go to my granny house, she cook for me and Jazz, and then boom, I'm going to watch one of those in part. Bow Wow came on, and I don't know when I seen him, he was young, he had the braids, girls was following him. Same. Who inspires you to the most when it comes to rap? Like, if if your father would ask you, like, who who would you feel like inspires you the my most? My granny. Bro, we got too much the same. <laughs> she sit at an organ every day and just yeah. like play. She would just play the organ and just tell me to rap. She had a mirror right by the organ. I stand in the mirror and she'd be playing the organ. One no eight oh eight, no hi hats, nothing. What you rapping to the organ though? I was rapping yeah. to the organ. <laughs> look, look, Bree. I want to ask you something. I was um, you was um, uh, we was at Carter Lawrence and they was um, representing you and giving you awards and all this and that. And so I was right there with your mama, and this is what your mama said. I said, hey, we talking. This is what Bree said. Bree said, I knew y'all was going to talk, and your yes. mama said, I used to be in entertainment, but he fired me. I did. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know what I'm saying? He I said, did. Look, you wasn't his. <laughs> mama trip. She and wasn't mama your Bree. son. You they know what I'm know. saying? Yes. But I want to ask you, um, how does that work when you first start and you so young and you got that, that momager, and then after so long you have to just kind of – get rid of her it was hard i'm not gonna lie it just was hard now that i look at her at it it was just hard for me to share my mom to be okay. honest like she it's like uh the team mom for a team yeah, like yeah, yeah and he knows i started in a group so it was like different to share my mom i didn't like that like but how do you it, fire your mom and and be comfortable that, with that man it was hard as hell she tried right. to whoop me for it <laughs> <laughs> you grounded type yeah. uh no cap was like nah it was it was I love my mama, but I wanted my mama to be my mama. Okay. You know what I mean? But, like, at the end of the day, when she was my manager, my mama, or whatever the case may be, in, you know, that season or with us going up, like, it was fun, though. Like, she she was handling business, and she was putting men in check. Jay Lawrence in the crowd. She, he know my mama was a hard cookie sometimes. But, like, she was standing on business. I, I really – wouldn't have fired her now where I'm at now. Because oh. right now my whole team is. Can you rehire her then? Because she, because I talked to her this morning, just to be honest. <laughs> can you, can you rehire her? What position does mom want first? I told she she wants to be she, the manager. She, she wants just... to be the manager. Okay. She can't be the manager. <laughs> she can be, she, I let her go back to get her, her starter job as a stylist in okay. certain places. She can be the day-to-day but coach. With day-to-day trip, day life coach. Your mom is here today <laughs> and I can, I can kind of see that your mom like, got a big influence on you. So what part does she play in what you got going on? Man, raising four kids by herself, Same. always hustling. Okay. Mm-hmm. Never giving up, you know what I'm saying? Just that really just, it, it just put that fire in you to be like, all right, you know, this ain't going to be like this always. Mm-mm. We got to go crazier. You know what I'm saying? And like, then with you, you know? I've, I've seen you, like, you doing studios and stuff like that. Like, do, And I want to ask you a question. Do you think, that takes from your rap career, what you trying to get into business, because I always, I've, I've always been an advocate of Mm-mm. like do one thing and make it work first. You know, you so know many what I'm people used to say that to me, and that's when I always was stagnant. Okay, yep. they always when I wanted to produce, ah, oh, you the rapper, bro, just keep rapping. Then I started producing, I get a placement with one of the biggest artists in Detroit, so like, like when an engineer, nah, bro, you already rapping and producing. Now I'm damn near engineering everybody in the city. Now look, I got my own studio, okay. so it's like. No, nah, I can't say that. Cause now nah, even that, I just I just feel like you gotta find something that you do and just 
expand with that. Like I love music, so for both of you guys, and I, I wanna I wanna ask y'all this: when it comes to music, and when it's come to making music, because I know like like y'all are real passionate about that. So how do you uh, differentiate making music with people? If somebody call you Bree and that ain't your lane, like Rick Ross, how do you tell them? No, I don't really want to do it. Man, <laughs> I, 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 I joked with uh, Pastor Diamond at Rihanna that day. I told him, uh, I texted him uh, a compliment versus, but nah, that's how I, sometimes I had to do it because some okay. people do take it personal, like the independent art. But honestly, I try to now to be vulnerable, like, um, and just tell them like, hey man, I'm on this path right now. Thanks. But I would love to collaborate you with you in this space. Or yeah. I'll love to, you know, support you in a session or I'll try to write for, you know, anything like Even that. Even when it comes to your shows, yeah. Um, yeah. I know people are asking to get on your show. So Every how day. do you tell them no Bree, when 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 you've been an artist before yeah. and you want you know, you wanna be on that stage and they know Bree is gonna have we we know you're it's gonna hard. have a sold out show. It's hard. And so how do you uh, tell them no I don't you can't be on my show do you it's hard you know what I'm saying it's hard cause the biggest thing they gotta realize like I'm family oriented trippy yeah. family oriented so yeah, it's I people see. in our family that we could be putting on every yeah. day in yeah. different categories mm -hmm. so it's like people don't realize when you are actually moving in this frequency it's so many people asking from stuff for Most you and from yeah. you and it's like how I do it I tell them like hey I can't do it right now yeah. and I done lost a lot of friendships from that yeah. And I done seen artists that act like they support me, but really they only support me when they get an opportunity to be on what the stage. Is, what, but what is, like, when it comes to, and I'm going to say artistry, when I, where I come up from, it's I'm 42. My age, when anybody was performing, like, long as you had a push, like, we were showing up. And so now, days, I'm, when, when I'm coming to y'all shows and, um, cause I'm really supporting you guys. I don't see nobody really. I don't see no artists or the people that usually show up. So how do you guys handle that? You know what I mean? Like, do it make you feel a certain type of way? And I'm asking both of you guys, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it'd be more like, you just got to take in what's there already. That's okay, why I yes. got to that point now. Yeah. I used to be like that back then. Like, okay. damn, like. Everybody hit you like, yeah. hey, yeah, woo, woo, woo. but really yeah. people just be wanting to get in for the free ski or be just wanting to be in the back of the, like now, nah. like yeah. if I just had a show recently and all my people that supported, even with the fans, my people was in the crowd supporting it though. And that's yeah. what I it respect. Made the, it made the event look even bigger. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, you gotta. That's why I, I love what he said. I value that. Like I start off with my family first. Like mm -hmm. my family is everything. All that other stuff is nothing. Like if you your. Fan, people trying to make fan bases and things like that. Okay. Start with your family. Trip yeah. just said it early on. Yeah. Start with your family and yeah. friends. Let them people be. These artists, man, I think sometimes we get away from human connection. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't understand. We are really humans. Like, this yeah. is a real relationship. We just on the couch earlier just laughing. Like, we, our managers didn't hook us up. Yeah. It was nobody co-signing mm -hmm. us. We were like literally um, young, young going crazy. Thing. I'm talking about. I went to a stage, uh, center stage. Shout out to D Heard too. I know chill, people don't like chill with sometimes, but I love chill with sometimes. Sometimes I don't like him too. He know that I love yeah, him. But, <laughs> you, yeah, but yeah. like we, we used to do a bunch of teen night parties and like. Center stage one of the event. Trip was on stage going crazy yeah. on time. Like I'm talking about this is nobody do team parties no more. We was starting, but he was on a whole other side of town than me. Six hundred people. I'm like, who are you? Yeah, I want to link with you. Let's go. Me, Dranico, and him just kept going back and forth. I brought him to Antioch, and I don't know where we was at. Club. It was on Bell Road. He <laughs> brought me out, and he had the same crowd. It, it, it really fucked me up because he, he was young it's, and now on some real shit. He used to hit me. He used to hit me on the book. And then Twitter, I think Twitter was going, but I know he used to hit me on Facebook early, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That he had that same vibe. It was just somebody that was young wanting to just live his dreams. Even when it <laughs> come to the promoters and stuff, and when you guys was like a little younger, and now, like, how do y'all deal with the promoters that's trying to get you? Because I know everybody trying to get y'all on shows, and I'm asking both of y'all this, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm in a place I want to stay in control. Not in right. control. I want to just control the experience. Like, I don't want to, my people that supporting me to go to something and it's not me. Like, yeah. it, it, not, it don't come with just the money. Like, the money is good, but, like, it's nice. really, like. How important is the money when it's coming to Nashville and they, they're asking you guys to come get on the show? Because um, 
Both of you guys are hot in the city, like, and that ain't just me Man, saying it's this business. because it's me. So how it's is business it? now? It's okay. business. Okay. We it did is. the work. We did the work. Like, okay, I feel like it's we got enough. I feel, I feel, I feel like, like, like we both got enough respect. Like it ain't. It ain't we ain't got to sugarcoat that. And shit. it's spiritual for me too, because yeah. you got to understand. Like I ain't just gonna let my presence be in somewhere that it ain't in the same frequency as me. Yeah. Like these folks out here, I'm telling you, don't have no integrity, no. They don't like, and it's around the world. I'm not calling talking about that. It's like some people don't even care about how the sound sound. They don't care, and they don't know. Oh, yeah, they just nice. want to book you, and then they thinking because with the education, sometimes they think that you finna bring the sound man. Yeah, which those thing like you yeah. were the DJ, you the DJ. like the budgets are crazy sometimes. It, with some people and yeah. some people not like and I'm just I can't really I'm just trying to give some education to independent yeah. artists but we like some people they hit me with this budget and it's like I really can't even do what you see and the magic I'm doing over yeah. here yeah. I can't do that with that and I'm trying to say it respectfully without you feeling like oh I don't want to do it because I hop to anything I come to anything it's love right the energy right yeah. but like when you trying to get me to breathe a uh, breathe experience mm -hmm. like and you're not trying to pay me for the work. What I'm promise you, I'm gonna give you your money. I'm gonna get you your money back. I want to say this to the promoters out here too. This is for all of us artists. Book us artists and watch how we bring people. We're gonna be buying bottles. We're gonna buy buying us. We're gonna get your investment right back because we're gonna be supporting y'all booking us. So it don't make like y'all might as well invest in the independent artists because the money that you're paying us to get in, we're gonna bring the people to spend the same money. So I don't understand. Like I now that I'm in a business space of like doing things and doing my own shows, it's like some things just don't make sense to me. Like Rhea, why it's been a disconnect. Rhea, I love you. You you my little brother. I love you. But I have to ask you the, the tough question because they told me last time I'd ask you no tough questions. And I have to ask you this. Like, okay, so we're talking about the young bucks and the star leaders because they know I don't give a damn. Like, I'm P. I don't care about nothing. We're talking the about the star. We're talking about the star. We're talking about the young bucks. And yeah. we're talking about all the artists that's of caliber. Like, yeah, they they might get on stage and say, Bree is the next person. But why haven't I seen no music? Why do I? Why don't I? I don't see. Why well, don't see Young Buck putting Bree on his page? Say Bree is the next person instead of saying it just me to me and you. Maybe they think I'm trash. That's all I'm asking. Maybe that's what I'm saying. Y'all can be mad at me. Y'all, I can. I, mean, I can they fight. Gotta, they gotta, I might not beat you they, up, but I'm a fight. Got, they got you know, you, you gonna they know gotta, I was there. They got to <laughs> prove the fans. You yeah, know, they got to yeah, answer that. I don't yeah. know. I can't answer that. But like. I know everybody always asks me that everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm so ask you live. maybe, maybe they think I'm trash. Okay. You know, and I'm just gonna say that in that sport way because like everybody keep asking me the same thing, and like I, I can't give you that answer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, I feel like I can't. And the thing is, it's no diss to them either. Like I feel oh, like no. I feel like man, at the end of the day, they cannot make my bed for me. So I'm gonna do it with or without. You know, and I love. Like I said, I love all my casual legends, but, like, I can't force nobody to support me. If they don't want to support me, they don't want to support me. You know what I'm saying? If no. Trip is doing the show, if Lil Trip is doing the show, and um, it's like me today, and I, I, I invited a couple of people. Shout out to Avery on the personality. She called me. Like, anybody, like, that I mess with, they'll call me like, hey, P, I can't make it or something, and, and, and yeah. the real people. But if Trip is doing the show and all these artists is saying, I support Trip, and they not showing up, and they don't show up when the show is over. Do you care? It depends on the relationship I got with the artist. That's one because I'm I'm a real person at the end yeah. of the day. Like right. this shit business, you know. They just my rap, well my rap peers. Yeah. So it really don't mean too much. But then it just be like, all right, cool. Like when you need yeah. me, I got you. Yeah, you know what I mean. I got you. Like, are you still showing up when they don't show up? Are you if still I want showing to, up? Okay. I'll okay. never do some shit on some okay. naive. I ain't. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? I'm a yeah. grown man. Like, yeah. if I don't want to, I'm not going. You know what I'm saying? And nine times out of ten, if you're not supporting me, where do you see the rap community going in Nashville? Like, just the Nashville scene. Where do you see it going? I feel like it's better than it was before because okay. you got people like us. Because now it is a whole group of young people that's. We all link. We all know each other. Even if we don't be doing songs all the time, like, we all know each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we all share each other's shit. Like, we all, in ways, everybody fuck with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Well, but I can say, I can say, like, Bree, like, uh, Bree always, he's always bringing up names. And even when I did his last show, you, I respect you because you reposted. You know what I'm saying? You wanted the, you wanted the artist to say, hey, I'm re you went and got your own stuff and reposted it. And so, um, I get, I get that point, but, um, 
is it like a competition or it's just it's like ego? A, it's like and now it's different because like like I say, me and him came up before like the ground was kind of the thing to do. Like and media, then right. even then it was social media, but not everybody wants to go overnight. It's a sauce now. Okay. So it's like shit. I don't really gotta be who I am. I could just go on this shit for six seconds, ten seconds, and just be somebody. Like it take a, it take people to have real genuine hearts, like real yeah. people to just really do that shit. Like a lot of people just want to be something that they not. So yeah. it be that. That's a lot of egos. People just want to be bigger than they are. Like so, that's why I say it's levels to this. I was talking to D Tay, and D Tay said, "Well, Buck got kind of a, like a lock on him. If he don't say no, nah, that's a lie." Yeah. Nobody has a lock on nothing. Uh -huh. Like if it's in, if it's in God's plan, it's like it's gonna be a fact. And so again, I go back to the question: like, how do you guys keep going when you don't have the support from the artists? And I know he said his family, but how do you guys keep on? Like, nigga, I ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you support people that yeah. maybe not support you, yeah. or do you support all the time. people that don't support you all the time? Because I feel like you gotta lead by example. I yep. tell you this all the time, Ricky. We gotta lead by example. You gotta be. I take you. one for the team. You gotta be. You either gotta got be it, you in don't. you. A lot of you that know, shit. Yeah, day, yeah, like, a lot of that shit. You, you. you take all yeah, this off. You gotta, you gotta, be, you gotta be in, in. you. And you gotta learn it too, like, cause it's certain things that I'm gonna be honest. Like, I was dumb about. I messed up a lot of relationships and fixed them, but yeah, <laughs> messed up a lot of them. <laughs> you know, as an artist, because I was so ignorant. You know, so it's like, what have you done wrong? Uh, just give give me something. Both of you guys, I want you both guys. Whatever you think you have have missed when it comes to to the entertainment in Nashville, have you missed anything, or what do you th guys think you done missed? We had this conversation before the air. I told okay. grown kid like the biggest thing I missed she up come was. Too. I like you, grown kid. <laughs> I, I told her. I said, man, you. She was like listening to our conversation, like yo, yo, yo. I said, man, the biggest mistake I made was not betting on myself so early. Okay. I was so, like betting on validation every okay. single day, like oh, we got to open up for this person. Oh, we got to go to TSU. We got to be attached to this brand. I got a pledge. I got. A yeah. I ain't had to do none of that. The whole time, the people always been in front of me. I just had to go grab them. I had to go get them. My pe the people that's for you as an artist is already looking. The people, your audience is not the people like find your audience. Your audience is who you are. They're yeah, people that yeah, just I'll like you. That. They're I'll literally that. just like you. And if you love yourself enough, they gonna come. So I wasted so much time, bro. Listen to how do you learn this. the business though, bro? The like business with, with, when 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 you just doing it by yourself, and even when we talking about yeah. the momagers and stuff, like yeah. they don't know nothing about it. Like how do you learn? the business on the strength of yes, I sir. know you know the business now. The failures. You know, failures. Ooh, the failures. mistakes. I, I had many cry for nights, you know, where you feel me. You don't cry, bro? I cry, fool. Like, like for real, because I, I love this music okay. so that bad. I okay. cried about it. Yeah. I ain't going to lie, because when you let, it's because you let your, you let your whole family down. Like somebody okay. like, you can relate your mama like, damn, why you sign that deal? Yeah. You trying to get up out that thing. Yeah. She's like, I told you not to sign that deal. I told you, I told you about these people. And it wasn't even that she knew the business. Uh -huh. It's more she just knew she knew the intuition. You yeah. know, she was like, man, I could feel something wrong with that guy. There's so many things that I done did like that just because I'm like, people talking about, yeah, this person worked with this person. Now I'm in rooms. It's crazy. Like I don't, I don't know nobody because I don't well, I don't people watch like I people energy watch. Yeah. So people just like name drop, name drop, name drop, and I'll be just going to sleep because I'm like. I don't even move in that space no more. But yeah. and when I was early on, I was doing that, and it got me caught up with financial risk and just feeling like I owe people. Like, mm -hmm. when people pay, try to pay for stuff. And honestly, and my dad know this, and I go say it on air because artists need to know, like, yeah. you basically replacing your dad, your father yeah. figure. Man, you feel what I'm exactly. saying? Because, like, you, you know, they trying to put money in your pocket. Like, I had this little mindset. Like, it was just like all these people was trying to son me and father me. I got a dad already. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And Ooh, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had people already in the game that was just like, they thought because they had money and all this, they, they just could wipe my family. I'm talking about really wipe my family off the board. Artists can relate. I'm telling you. They yeah, like, facts. they try to disconnect you from your people. Ooh. Don't let these people disconnect you from your people, your family, your friends. Like, I'm talking about air artists around the world. They are going to try to do it. They're going to do it because they're going to try to make you forget who you really are. Mm -hmm. And that's when we go off the track. It ain't never been about the music. It's about you being happy and loving yourself and having the wings. Be like, I'm confident enough to sit by Trip. I'm confident enough to sit by Jelly Roll. But even with, even with Trip, Post even Malone. with Trip, if you like, when you see a guy like Bree going up and you know he messed with you, but it's like, do you ever feel like, He's leaving me out or, you know what I'm saying? How do you keep that communication to where, Man, like, you know, it's still no, love? You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, because <laughs> it's, it's a genuine relationship. Like, yeah. like he know it the same way. Like, when I was moving fast and 
I mean, like, it was answers. But it, I feel like everything time, we was just saying that. Like, everything time, like, it may have been points when I was up high, he was trying to figure himself out. Mm-hmm. I really he was, was up high, I'm in the cut trying to get <laughs> myself together. But <laughs> you see how God work and we align. Like, we yeah. both at our happiest. Like, yeah. we both at our happiest. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, in real it's life. Crazy. Not for in the real life. Yeah, in yeah. real life. And that's why I said the best gift about being on this podcast platform with you, literally, the history that we done made together. And, like, we really haven't even reflected on it. I wish we had Kid Crunk here. But it needed to be the right person to speak on Yeah, you're the right person to speak on it. So I'm thankful that you're telling a true story because we were so young, people didn't appreciate it. You know, in a way. Like, and there's so many. That's why I believe, like, man, Lil Bree, you've been hot since 13. I'm like, nah, honestly, who made me even jump part of it? Yeah, with Lil Bower. But here, locally, I seen Lil Trip, I seen Dre Nico, and I seen Kid Crunk. And then I also seen, uh, 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 don't want to miss out, Pretty Shy. We always doing the same thing at the same time. And I would never wipe away history, Mm -hmm. ever. And I feel like it's a lot of artists, they try to wipe history out. But we got to embrace each other. Like, tell the people who you who you support who supported you and got there like because we need each other. We do. But but both of you guys got a voice and um like how do you know when to speak up and when not to speak up? Because I I you know, I always tell you, like, I speak up like the worst thing they can do is kill me, and that ain't gonna work. You know what I mean? That ain't that ain't that, that ain't, ain't good. Work. So <laughs> yeah, it just killed me. Like I'm, I'm, I know where I'm going. I'm good. But uh, but how do you guys know when to kind of like speak up? Because it done been told me times I've been wanting to be like, y'all need to be in Lil Bree show or trip y'all niggas ain't. And so how do you guys know when to kind of speak up? Like do it's because I'm finna oh, tell you something. I'm be hard, hard on both of y'all. It's coming a time to where now y'all have gonna have to speak up and say. Man, if y'all gonna have to start supporting the the younger generations. You know what I'm saying? The the generations uh for for his from history, and Obama said this, it's always been the younger generation to make shit go up. And the the older generation is hogging the industry when it's coming to rap in Nashville. And so when when is it time for you guys to speak up and say, no, nah, man, y'all need to start supporting us? Like that's Y'all are not dead. Y'all can still rap, but y'all are old. Yeah. When it's it's, it's coming to time where y'all gonna have to say something, not times just like me, this. because I mean, least, times they, like this. This they is gonna the say time. they gonna say P is yeah. a hater. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And look, and trip. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get grown kid in here, trip. But um, let's do it. We gonna me and you gonna do a solo show. Me and you gonna do a show, solo show coming up. But I appreciate that. My head yeah. get grown getting here. Grown kid, right, you ready? Good. Do it. Do it. I love you, boy. I love you. Thank hey. you. Thank you for showing up. Tell your family I love them. Uh, we can do a solo whenever you want to. This is what I want to say about uh, you, grown kid. The, the the women rap community is not heard like that. We talked about that. And uh, I feel like it's something that y'all need to do more just to be seen. Like you can come on okay. my platform, I'm supporting it. Like I'm like a, I'm I'm your I'm your like assistant manager. Shout out to church. <laughs> I'm just really like your assistant yeah. manager, but um, I feel like it's more you that y'all need to do. So what does that look like in the women community? I honestly feel like to be completely transparent, I feel like it's not even more so what we need to do. I just feel like it goes back to the support. Um, of your city or the people okay. around you, like that's that plays a big part. And a lot of the time, just off the strength of being a female, you get overlooked because you're not doing certain things or you're not carrying yourself a way that, you know, is popping, like what's mainstream, whatever. But I honestly feel like um, it just depends on your work ethic. Like you got to grind. Like you still have to go 10 times harder just because you're a female. So are you, are you um, more trying to, do work with the females or the males or mm. how does that work for you? Um, I love who love me. I'll say okay. that. Um, what about Bree? Because I ain't seen y'all no I music. I love Bree. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fun I ain't fact, seen y'all though, do no music. Fun fact. So I've been performing, like, I've been doing music a while, but I've been performing, like, in Nashville since I was, like, 12, 13. And Bree was, like, one of the first people that actually brought me um, out to an event. It was at Island Vibes. And, yeah, it was just, yeah, yeah, it was cool. So, like, the support's been there. The love's been there. Everything's just not, like, you know, everything ain't got to put on the forefront. Like, when you know who really supports you and really rock with you, like, all that in front of the, for the media, it don't really matter. Like, with you being, like, a single mom Mm -hmm. and 
trying to raise a, a son at the same time and also trying to do music at the same time. How hard is that? Like, and I, I I'm not, no, I'm not going to say it's hard. Like you gotta, you gotta grind. Yeah. But what's the challenges of you, of you being the full artist that you need to be with working and having a son? Like what's the challenges? Cause me and um, church finna get your ass out there. Oh Lord. Um, I'll say honestly, like it's made me like a beast. I'm not going to lie. Like, um, just everything that is on my plate. I just, I just thank God because if he wouldn't have put me in certain predicaments, like to be a single parent or to have to just bust my ass to make it and things like that, I don't feel like I would be, I'd probably be, you know, slacking a little bit Mm -hmm. in certain aspects. So I just, I don't know. I thank God for putting me in those positions, like, because it's built me up. It's, it builds character for sure. How do you choose? How do you choose who to, with, uh, with you being, um, because I've been in this entertainment, 20, at least 20 years, and with you being a, just a beautiful artist and talented, how do you choose who you work with and who you trust? Um, So I've been through it. I'll say that. Yeah. Um, since I was younger, you know, like 15, 16, um, performing and things like that, I've seen, like, a lot of what not to do mm-hmm. or, like, you know, how things can play out for certain people, myself included. So, like, I can feel when the love is real, like, when the support is real, when somebody's genuinely wanting to, you know, you know, fuck with me because of who I am versus, like, what I can do for them or how I could benefit them. Like, don't get me wrong, like, a collaboration, things like that is for, you know, mutual benefit but it's just like some stuff you can tell the difference between what's real and what's not and so. even, even with you Bree, with you being uh on the level you are and you actually see people like grown kid trying to come up like yeah. what do you do like because brie we're yeah. gonna start holding you accountable to a because yeah. you are you can hold in the up. space yeah. My, you I think know my, I'm holding you yeah. accountable. So I think my credit card with, good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so people like grown yeah. kid that, that's yeah. trying to come up yeah. like um, it ain't that it's a lot of artists, yeah. uh, women wise. It's we pausing, grown kid. I could I could keep it's calling them, of- but what does Bree does to make sure that they know the education of it and got the support? I think she told you like a lot of um like I think the fun part that I just I'm grateful for like right now just like even like grown kid I didn't know that I gave her one of her first performing opportunities okay. you know what I mean yeah. but like I do that for so many artists like my best friend can tell you like it's so many art when if I see you I try to give you an opportunity even it may not be a verse yeah but it's yeah. going to be an opportunity like I'm, I'm helping people get, get sync placements yeah. around the world not just Nashville Nashville comes first always right. when I do things but like. Even Cool Daddy, Fresh Daughter, GQ. I'm oh, yeah. low-key helping manage her from, from day one Good. to now, you know, and I don't do management, y'all. But, like, she come to me as a therapist. Yeah, Management's yeah, her yeah. therapist. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but, like, no, like, a lot of these people, like, I just met through time. I didn't grow up with none of these people, you know, but, like, God sent me, you know, putting them on my doorstep, and I was like, man, I see you. Like, because I know how I felt when I – I just wanted to always felt like I belong. Right. So when I hear an artist come out to me and they like, man – I just want to be heard and I want to be seen. I'm like, bro, let's create that. Let's figure out how to do it if I can do it. You know, and I ain't going to lie. Probably a year or two ago, I got discouraged and I stopped, like, being so nice because some people just – They took advantage of me. They took advantage of me. But now I'm in a place where, like, you know, I let God deal with it. At the end of the day, I don't need, you know, I don't need you to shout me out and say, Bree, you did this for me. You did that for me. I really don't. But – I, because I, I know at the end of the day it's all gonna pan out for whatever I'm doing. I sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. Like I told, I didn't even know I did that. I yep. told her so. I, just be I, genuine. Yeah, just be genuine. But for you, a uh, uh, grown kid, and, and and um, do you actually understand the business of where you're trying to go? Like um, I'm just being honest with mm-hmm. you. If um, if we're if if Def Jam is coming in and said, hey, we're finna sign you, um. What did that? What does that look like for you? Like, what did you think your job is after that? Well, I will say this: about a year or so ago, I got my I actually got my certification for music business um, on the back end because a lot of the times, like, not artists aren't knowledgeable mm-hmm. about what they're getting themselves get, into, exactly. and the business aspect of it is really important. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I just, we were actually having this conversation uh, briefly before we started, just about how, like, the impressions, like, what's worth what. Like, um, I've just, I've done 
I've messed up before. Like yeah. I've put out my music through like third party distributors mm-hmm. and stuff like that to where I'm getting pennies versus what they're making from my That's music, cool. you know? So um, just as far as that, I feel like um, being educated and just knowing what I'm getting myself into, what comes with signing a contract, what comes with, you know, publishing, like putting your music out, just what comes with everything. But are you willing to be a full-time artist? Like I definitely a, am. Okay, okay. I am. Okay. Long story so, so short. So you understand like that, that comes with <laughs> yeah. tra- traveling and yeah. uh, multiple hours in the studio and, yeah. and sending your baby out for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because you're, you're a single mom mm-hmm. right now and not to put your business out there, but you're a single mom. And so like um, the rap game takes a uh, breeze Never here. Mm. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? And so um, I've always asked people, are you actually ready to go to the top of where you can go? Because uh, one thing, I'm, everybody that's have heard your music that's here, mm-hmm. they all say she got it. So are you actually ready to go to the top, to be honest? I am. I honestly am. Like, I feel like all with God's timing, though, like um, certain things, like by me not getting like, okay, let me st- touch base let me backtrack a little bit um when I was like in high school I you know had some opportunities to like be on like certain shows and Mm -hmm. things like that but you know God's time with everything I feel like you know it could have played out differently for me if I was to you know take that opportunity um contracts aren't always legit and that's another reason that I wanted to you know, learn the business side of it. So that way when I am presented another opportunity, like in adulthood, I'm able to, you know, analyze it correctly and go about it the right way. So as far as like being ready to be a full-time artist, I feel like I am prepared and I have like a plan for exactly what I want to do. Um, As far as with my son too, I don't plan on just leaving him behind like or just you know trying to have somebody keep him for a period of time i actually want to have like a travel nanny or something oh, that's fine. You, you can do that yeah like you can do that. he's like my yeah. yeah that's my right hand so he's gonna yeah. be joint he's gonna be Thanks. at my hip <laughs> whatever i do and so when it comes to music um are you writing your own music or mm-hmm. do you have help with that or like what you know what i mean come to music it's all me i'm not gonna lie it's blood sweat and tears everything is 100 percent leah's grown kid all the way around. So, is there any kind of way we can get like a, 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 a just a snippet of something going on? <laughs> can great. we get okay. like a, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. give me some, you know what I'm saying? Like, I okay. just want to hear, you know, I love your shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Can we just get a burst or something or just, just, cause I want, I want the people to know like you really can do this, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, can we get like a verse or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm giving one for Brie too. Some you know slight, like, some <laughs> slight. That's you know crazy. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. You on the spot. I'm your hype man, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Just to put you out there. <laughs> Real okay. Quick. okay. Up. Look, they ain't know what to do. It all fell down. I picked me up, but where they all at now? On the sidelines, hating because it's my time. I clapped when it was them. Smacking on their lips, you pay the price when you condemn. I count my blessings twice. I'm living life above the rim. And if they try to double back, you know the chance is very slim. Ruby out the rough because she the rarest of the gems. Wish they would have kept it. Had to cut them off the hymns. It's amazing. Ain't it what God do when you're patient? Yeah. When it all fell down, straight to my knees. I said, it's crazy, ain't it? I got back up and hit the pavement. When it all fell down. Down, yeah, said it's amazing. Ain't it what God do when you're patient? I'm just picking up the strip that my granny left. Broken heart in pieces like a base in a treble clef. They got it. I'm done saying good riddance because I don't really mean it. I'm out anybody way that don't respect me. And not to anyone to check me. For the record, I'm doing good. And Mally super straight. Everything I do, you know, his plate already made. Son came from a queen, so we water where we lay. Everyone can't eat the fruit like eating half a trade. I done led the ass to water, but I dare not make them drink. Father's love your daughters and be there so they can think <laughs> that's it right hey. there <laughs> Thank hey. you got a person named billy hey. out there and he done hated on you because hey. he used to try to rap in his later days he used Lord. to try to rap a long time ago billy you ain't got it like that oh my God. You ain't, you ain't, that was it right there <laughs> you know what i'm saying you ain't got it like that billy you know what i'm saying but look um, that that's different i appreciate um, that free um you know, I'm 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 holding you to a high caliber. Yeah. Um, on the artist that's coming up, like grown kid and little trip, I got because em. of I know I know your struggle, what you done been through. Yeah. And I think like you you went through that for them, but uh, you finna go platinum here real soon. Yeah. I'm not gonna put a timing on it, 
I believe but that. your platinum plaque is coming. I believe it. And so um, before we end this out, I want to hear from both of you guys what we need to do to support you guys more. The whole city, the whole city of Nashville, we need to do. Y'all ain't hit me, goddamn. Y'all yeah. hit me, my, hit me. I'm gonna be honest, man. Okay. This is my. I've been working on this. I got a whole map for ten years. Okay. So what you just said about like grown kid, like yeah. I definitely want to see her win. Number well, one, like, she gonna I, win. I and she, she will win. win. She will win. Period. Yeah. So like, what yeah. I'm trying to do is, um, you know, I I've been doing these shows in Nashville independently. This is my third year doing this show. Yeah. Um, I need y'all to sell out. I'm raising money. To build a community center here, it's not gonna be. A, I don't want to just categorize it as a community center, but it's gonna be for all us creators. I don't want us to have something that we own that's ours. But like, I want to raise this money where, yeah, we sold out seven hundred people. I want y'all to invite somebody new to this yeah, thing. Facts. I want y'all to be my record label. I don't have meetings with record labels all year long, and that's no cap. Well, I want to. I want to take an advance from Nashville, the community, and I want to pay it back to y'all. Versus paying it back to a label and pour it right back into the community. So what I'm asking y'all to do, September show out even harder and let me oh, we ended let thing. me let me try to build the community. I've been putting the community on, but I want to continue to do that and keep my integrity and keep keep seeing people like grown kid, little trip. It's so many artists out there around the world that just need real. You know what I what mean? What do you really think about grown kid though? Like, what like, I do like think? Be, be honest. Like, what do you really think? I heard, she was talking earlier, <laughs> like, she was like, she's trying to discover her sound and I wanted to tell her like, off the top, Spirit told but me you to tell you, up. Spirit told me to tell you like, you, you are the sound. You don't, we, everybody always been saying for years, what is Nashville sound? Y'all need to have a sound. But that different that you saying, oh, they wanted me to do Instagram posts and sound like this, like, stay away from it. Because the thing is, they're going to remember you for being a grown kid. And when, like, I see you right now, you look different than a lot of artists. You just got to stay focused on that and keep being that person, but in the music, be that person, too. Because watch what happens. Like, you're going to look up and people are like, I want to sound like grown kid. That's what's happening to me now. Like, at first I was doing a party at Waffle House and turning up. <laughs> Lit guy being fine. viral, you know, but now it's like people like I want to sound like Bree. I want to have a production like Bree. I want to, and it's because like I separated myself. I, I don't want to be a part of the trend. I, I want to be the trend. So like trend. you, you are a trend, and you got it. And I'm here for you. you. And don't ever get discouraged. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna say. I'm just uh -huh. asking grown kid this. Don't forget about if you're alive, subscribe because you <laughs> can, you I? finna make it big. <laughs> and yeah. if guess what, I'm gonna call church. Cause I'm gonna keep on going through church, you know what I'm saying? And can I can I get uh grown kid? Um, I want you to uh let us know how we can support you, but I want to get church up here for a minute. Okay. Let us know how we can support you, and I want to get church up here for a minute. Okay. Um, honestly, just continue like showing love, like continue showing love, and like that's like the main thing. Being genuine. I don't want nothing that's not real around me. So like, if you if you ain't that just stay away. We support you. Yeah, Church, I want to get you up here for a minute. Okay. Thank you, grown kid. We got you. you. We okay, yeah. I want you to. <laughs> I just want you to encourage the Nashville community on coming together and and, and making this thing bigger than what it is. Oh uh, man, I mean, like Bree was saying, man, uh, the OGs and the young folks too. Okay. I say it all the time, bro. Like we embrace the ecosystem. And support each other. We can't lose. Because, like I said, I've been down on Atlanta since, what, 95, bro. I seen it when they got the grease hot the way it is now. Everybody support each other. That's all we need here, man. And uh, and my nephews and my nieces, as I say, right. yeah, they got the music. Because, you yeah. know what I'm saying, coming with, uh, with the cruise control and all that. And I seen a whole the crew trap. A different sound. Because, yeah. like I said, you know. A lot of people in Nashville, like you said, Bree, you got a 615 exclusive. Oh, shout out 615. You know what I'm saying? Young, young folks. So it's like, man, I you know these folks was out like that. So it was like, damn, you get to hear them. Like, man, there's some talent out here. Yeah. And they get it. Just the niggas I age don't get it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's all it is. What, what is that? Sadly, you know they what? was trying to put us against <laughs> each other. That's the sad part. That's the sad part. You know what? It. And this is real talk. And this has been another great episode. <laughs> if if you're a last subscribe, I had to bring church in because that's my dog. He know I got his back. If you're a last subscribe, and let's go.